Hi, it's Rob Moore here from Progressive Property and I'm with Andy Beach. Andy, this is everyone. Hello everyone. And everyone, this is Andy. And we were just having a chat uh, how Andy's done and I could not believe what he just told me. You need to tell everyone what you just told me. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, I've, I've bought um, two properties so far this year actually. Yeah, and um, so just in case time sensitive, we're now about what? It's March. It's, eight, yeah, it's March. March of 10th, okay. is it? Is Great. It so in a, yeah, in a couple of months you bought two properties this year. Yep. Great, Absolutely tell us right. about them. Okay, um, the first one, it's 195,000, it's a, a block of five flats, um, but the, the valuation for the survey came back 490,000, so that's, I don't know, on paper. Like 60% yeah. discount. Yeah, wow. It's awesome, isn't it? I know. Wow. Yeah, the reason what are you going to do with that? Um, well, I'd have to remortgage it to get it back out, so I've done nothing with it other than at the moment I'm refurbing it, yeah. so I've got it being refurbed. Yeah. Um, and I'm not clear yet as to whether I need to split the leases to actually realise that extra cash mm. capital. Um, but I would have thought, given time, I'll be able mm. to do it anyway because it is five flats and you can't sure. get flats for any less than that where it is. Right. So um, let's just go through this thing because it sounds like a lot. So, okay. so your options are you can split the leases, what, yep. five separate leases? Five separate leases. So it's two, it's two, under one at the moment, is it? It's all under one. It's one freehold. So yeah, I've got I get the whole it. building is one freehold. Yeah. So you could have five yeah. free leaseholds. Exactly. Yeah, great. Yeah. Uh, and what, what will each one be worth, do you think, once you've refurbed it? Um, Which flat? That's a very good question. Get, go on the low side, guess what? Yeah, well, go, go on the low side. We like to be pessimistic about yeah. the numbers here. A two bed, maybe 100, 110,000. And okay. I've got just two of them. Yeah. Um, I've got a large one bed there. Yeah. Maybe 90, 95,000. Mm. Yeah. The two smaller one beds. The worst case scenario is seventy five thousand, but yeah. I mean they're bigger than seventy five thousand ones on the market, so maybe eighty eight. Okay. okay, so you're at four fifty five hundred grand. Yeah, once you. Okay, great. Hey, do you think you'll hold them for income or flip them and stuff? I'll definitely hold them. Yeah, I'll just yeah, because I'll probably mortgage the money back out. And yeah, them. so there'll be no money left in. Absolutely right. Yeah. And then just take the cash out on them. Yeah, exactly right. Great. Um, and how did you finance them? Uh, I put deposit in myself, and the rest yeah. was commercial. And that was actually one of the reasons I was able to buy it was mm. because the. Uh, the stage I went to, it'd been on the market previously, and I have my right move alert set up, as you should. Yeah. You know, it's had my right move alert set up, and I completely missed it because it hadn't come on to right move. And what had happened, right. the stage, and obviously you had someone, his friend, if you like, who was trying to sell it to his friend, yeah. who was supposedly a cash buyer, yeah. and uh, didn't come good with the goods. So he then put it on the on right move, mm. and because um, the seller was frustrated, obviously. And mm. the, seller, the story behind the seller was it's an elderly couple. Mm. So the gentleman had, had got Alzheimer's, so the wife, she, she couldn't be coping with that, wanted yeah. to get rid of the hassle. Right. Um, so that's why they wanted a fast sale, and that's the reason for the sensible price. So sure. it was actually the asking price. Yeah. It was just, you know, the minute I went in there and did the numbers, it was a complete no-brainer. Sure. You know? uh, a lot of people try and base things on asking price. It's irrelevant asking price, isn't it? Yeah. Could be exactly right. 40% so, over, 40% under. So. Yeah, exactly. It, it took me literally, I, I walked in there and I knew I wanted to buy it yeah. as soon as I had door, but I did put it through my little spreadsheet just to make sure. <laughs> you know, did you and Mark had a chat? Mark, did you? Mark would be proud of me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, and actually, in fairness to Mark, it was his advice yeah. that got me in the position that, man, I could do it. Because he said, and we're going back now to mm. near the beginning of the VIP, he mm. actually said to me, make sure you get in with commercial. So sure. I did. Yeah. Oh, am I giving too much advice away? No, no, it's <laughs> so, fine. Go for it. Okay. Whatever you, you know. Yeah, so. It's your show. Okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, they. Um, you know, he, he said, make sure you got commercial. So when I went to that stage and he said to me, and can you finance it? He said, because we've got a lot of people want to offer on this property because it's mm. such a good price. He said, but can you finance it? And I literally pulled my phone out of my pocket and said, yes, you can phone the bank manager right now if yeah. you'd like to. This is his personal mobile. Yeah. You know, and, and that yeah. speaks volumes, doesn't yeah, it? So sure. the fact I could do that, and he phoned mm. the bank manager, and the bank manager answered his phone, thank God, yeah. and said to him, yes, trust me, Andrew, you can do it. Right. Okay, and tell us about the other one. The other one, um, same area, big six-bed house. Now my intention when I bought it was to turn into HMO, eight bed HMO, that was Andrew's cunning plan. But I've got a better plan now. Oh right, <laughs> I've got what, a better, 12 beds. <laughs> I've got a better plan now, no, I can make six flats. Oh okay. Yeah, yeah. so six flats. So, so would you pay for it? Uh, again, 195, so right. same kind of price. Um, and each flat worth each roughly? Each flat, 75 grand. It's wow. the cheapest you get flat for, so that's, that's 450. Yeah, and, and you bought it for 195. 195, build record's 100 grand. So even if I go over budget by 50 yeah. grand, I'm still 100 grand yeah. up. Wow, that's really good. Yeah. So, what do you do? Do you have a job, I, I, career? I, I, yeah, I have an internet yeah. marketing company, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have an internet marketing company, so... So, you're, you're, you're an entrepreneur, you run your own business? Yes, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Okay. Absolutely, yeah. So, you managed to juggle being an entrepreneur and running your own business, and 
You know, buying some property. Buying some property. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so would you, could you give anyone or anyone any advice who runs their own business and thinks they haven't got time? You've clearly managed to make a few hundred grand in a couple of deals in a couple of months running your own business. You must have some good advice. It depends how much money you want, doesn't it? You can make time, can't you? Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, that's you just make about. it. Yeah, that's yeah. what it's down to, yeah. Because yeah. how long does it take you to get to VIP nights? Oh, it's a nightmare of you. Yeah, yeah. Um, this isn't a good selling point, you know, really. It takes you five and a half hours. Well, get, you, yeah. but the, the fact is you come here all the time. So. I do come here, yeah. I mean, I've been away from home all week this mm. week. So, because I came for VIP on Tuesday, and yeah. it's obviously it's Sunday now. Yeah. So, yeah. Sure, but, you know, that's that's the sign of committed people. Thank you very much. Yeah. And when the money comes in, it's, uh, it's all good, isn't it? Yeah, it'd be good in the end, mm. won't it? It'd be good in the end. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, how's life different now since, you know, before VIP now? Afterwards, um, life's different. I lose about a week a month because it's a bit hard to you see. <laughs> but you come to Peterborough, so that, that, makes, cold, yeah. it? <laughs> that makes it up for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. um, I know a lot more people. Yeah. And you know, people who are influential people or positive people. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, it's talking to people who say, yes, you can do it. Mm -hmm. And not just, yes, you can do it, but tell you how to do it. Yeah. Um, I mean, before I came on, before I got into property kind of things, mm. like me and things like Progressive, I, I kind of was the person I knew with the most properties, mm. which becomes a problem because you don't know who to ask, how yeah. do I move to that next step? You know, it's only when you, you meet someone who's done more than you've done mm. and they've faced the obstacles that you're facing that you can say to them, this is where I'm stuck, and they can go, well, this is all you need to do. It's not mm. such a, but you don't know, you have to learn it yourself and you, you forge in a way, it's a lot easier to just copy somebody. Mm. You know, you don't need to reinvent the wheel, quite sure. honestly. And what would you say to someone who's very busy like you mm. or is thinking, you know, there's a financial commitment and is sitting on the fence, what would you say to them? It depends how much they want it, doesn't it? If, 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 they, if they want to be financially free, you know, it depends what situation they're in. If they mm. want freedom and they want to have property portfolio, then go on and do it. It's, mm. it's a complete no-brainer, isn't it? Mm. Mm. So. Annie, thank you very much. Welcome, man. Cheers. Cheers.